Guys, in this video, we'll be showing you an easy and productive way to manage your projects and tasks. Guys, have you ever wished that you could create a issue in GitHub directly from new items in Notion's database? Well, you're in luck because in this video, we'll be showing you exactly how to do that. So join us as we walk you through the process of seamlessly integrating Notion and GitHub in such a way that whenever you add a new item in Notion's database, an issue will be created in GitHub automatically. So let's get started. So we are setting up this automation using Pavli Connect, which is an automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pavli. And from here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automation. So you can just sign up right now. After that, you have to sign in and you can reach the Pavli Connect product and you will see the dashboard like this. And guys, from here, you have to click on this create workflow button to set up this workflow and here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as notion to GitHub. Okay. After giving this name, just click on create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here. All right. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can set up any automation. So trigger is that event which is going to kickstart this workflow and the action would be the automated consequence or the response of the trigger. So here in our use case guys, adding an item in Notion's database, it is going to trigger this workflow and the action would be to add a issue in GitHub. Okay. So here guys, first of all, we are going to choose Notion as our trigger application. Okay. Because we are creating an item in notion only. Okay. And the trigger event would be a new database item. So like this option. Okay. Then click on connect from here, select add new connection, then click on connect with notion. All right. And from this window, you have to provide access to Pavli connect. And here it is asking access to view the pages you select and uh, everything else. So you can click on select pages to select the pages where you have uh, the page in which you are adding the items. So I'm selecting all the pages right now and I'm clicking on allow access. And you can see the authorization is successful and we are connected. And now let me show you my notions database. This is my notion and here is a page named as to do and here I'm adding these uh, items in these tables. Okay. In these columns. So here you can see, I have added this, uh, item here named as new bug. Okay. And here I have added this description, the due date, the priority, and this is the status of this item. Okay. So here's how you can create a item here. Now guys, after connecting, you have to select the database ID. So my database is to do only I'm selecting this one only. And now by clicking on save and send test request, you can fetch the details of the most recent item that you have created in GitHub. Sorry, in Notion. Okay, so I'm clicking on save and send test request button. And here is the response we have received. And in this response, you can see we have received uh, the status as next up. Okay, now scroll down here. And you can see the priority is medium. Okay. Here is the text content new bug. This is the title. Okay. And here is the title again. This is the start date. This is the uh, description. You can see this is the same description. A bug in our dictionary. It is here. And when you scroll down, you will get uh, the technical details as well. Okay, like this. So that's how you can receive the details of a new item from notion. And you want to create an issue out of this item in GitHub. For that, we are going to connect GitHub here in the section step. So search for GitHub. Okay, then select the action event as create an issue. Then click on connect. And from here, select add new connection, then click on connect with GitHub. All right. And here it is asking to authorize Pavli connect to connect with GitHub. So click on authorize Pavli. And here 
it will it might sometime bring you to the login window where you have to fill the password then you can then the authorization will be successful and it will be connected here like this okay then you have to select the account owner's name then you have to select the repo so here we, you can create repositories so this is a coders platform here you can create open source repositories so here i have this repository named as connect app okay so here i am selecting connect app okay then here you can give a label as bug or whatever you have in that repository so i'm giving the label as bug and it is asking for the title the body and the assignee's name so for filling these details we are going to use this data that we have received from notion of a item okay and i'm going to map these labels here in which we have received the things here in this step to create a issue in github so for the title you just have to click here and the trigger step will appear in the drop down and when you click on it you will see all the data here only so from here you can scroll down and you can see the titles content here is the title content label new bug is the title you just have to click on it to map it okay similarly find the description to map here in the body so you'll find the description here this is the description text content just map it to, uh, to map the body of the issue now you can select the assignee okay then you can check your connection with github by clicking on save and send test request button and a new issue will be created here in this repository here okay you will see the new issue here let us check our connection with github i am clicking on save and send test request button and let's see what happens this is the response we have received here let us see in the issue section if we got a new issue so here is the issue section let me just refresh this page and here you can see guys we got a new issue created named as new bug okay and you can see the description a new bug in our dictionary okay and this is the same uh, thing this is the same things that we have mapped here title and the body and it got created here so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that you don't have to do anything manually in the workflow after that whenever you are going to add an item in notion issue will be created in github and you can use this workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone this workflow in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel